welcome. Thanks for tuning back in today. So, real quick message before we get into today's video. Um, at some point in the video, you will notice a rag over my right hand. And you may or may not notice a little bit of blood. You probably will. Um, there's not a whole lot, but you may notice a little bit. But I tried covering it up the best that I could. And no, I did not shoot myself or anything crazy like that. Actually, what I did was, is you can see it like right here. I just nicked my knuckle a little bit. And in the winter time, my hands get super dry because of work. And so I nicked it. I have no idea when. I didn't notice it until I was like part of the way into making this video. And uh, I just couldn't get it stopped. I tried putting a band-aid on it. Band-aid wouldn't stick. And so I tried cleaning it off with the snow is the best that I could, which really wasn't that good, I guess. So I tried wrapping it in a towel and hiding it. Well, then I got home, started editing it, and you can kind of tell. And I went back and forth for a few days on whether I was going to, um, you know, still use it or not. I just, I couldn't make up my mind. Finally, I said, you know what? I personally do not think it's a big, big deal. Um, hopefully y'all don't either. Uh, if you do, you know, look away, pause it and fast forward or something i don't know i apologize i uh i just don't want to scrap footage because it it right now it takes me a while to get out to the range and so i didn't want to scrap the footage so i do apologize i don't think it's a big deal but um anyways other than that that's all i have for you i hope you all enjoyed the video here it is hey what's up so uh Thanks for tuning in today to TM Downrange. I'm just out here kind of scanning the area, scanning the range, you know, making sure there's no threats, no predators. I mean, you can never be too careful. You need backup firearms for your backups. And uh, today I got like six backups. They're like a whole security unit. They call themselves uh, Security Six. It's also a uh, revolver, but you know, you can never be too safe. What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in today to TNM Downrange for another gun review. So, what are we shooting today? Well, now that I said that, it's kind of a dumb question because the title says what we're shooting. We're shooting the Ruger Security 6. Um, and that's this bad boy right here. So, I'm going to load it up. We're going to take a few shots and then we'll talk about it. My chain broke. I guess we're down to one target today. Anyway, so the Ruger Security 6. It was made from about 1971 to 1985. The GP100 is what followed this one up. Um, and there was a few different models in the, the 6 series. So there was like the, the Security 6, which is this one, the Service 6, and the Speed 6. Um, they were trying to, from my understanding back then, Ruger was trying to get a single action, double action revolver into the market. He was up against Smith & Wesson and Colt at the time, and that's what this revolver is. It is a single action, double action revolver. Um, and so what he was trying to do was go by the, from the durability standpoint of it and make a very heavy duty, durable revolver. And that's essentially what he did because this thing's built like a little brick house. Um, and so, you know, this is what he came up with. So starting right off with it, the grips on this one are not the original grips. These right here are Safari Land grips. You can see the little inlay right here. And uh, I really, really like these. They got checkering on both sides of them. And the cutouts for where the fingers go, they're actually a little bit big, like for a, uh, a larger hand. And I have medium sized hands, but I kind of like that because it lets my fingers rest in there. I mean, like re real deep down into those cutouts. And I, I really like that. Uh, moving on around to the to the trigger, you know, uh, that's probably the biggest downfall to this revolver is the trigger. From what I've read online, a lot of people have complaints about it because it's not the smoothest trigger and it's a very, heav a very heavy double action trigger pull, which I have to agree on. It's not the smoothest trigger and the double action pull is extremely heavy on this. Out of all the revolvers I have in my collection, this one right here by far has the heaviest uh, double action pull. Now the single action pull is very, very nice. Uh, moving on up around the frame, this is a solid frame revolver, and that was part of the 
um, you know, what Ruger was going after was to make a, a durable uh, revolver and he thought that the solid frame revolver would be the way to go. Moving around to the hammer, the hammer has some knurling on top so you can get that nice grippage action. It is a transfer bar style um, revolver, so meaning as you pull the hammer back, there's a transfer bar that comes up, so it is drop safe and you can fully load the cylinder. It is a swing out cylinder. You have right here on the left hand side, you got some knurling on the push button style uh, release. You push that op open or push that down and the cylinder will swing open. Um, it does hold six rounds, you know, security six, of 357 Magnum. Uh, this, this one right here is chambered in 357 Magnum. You can also shoot 38 Special through it. And because this, re this revolver is so heavy and well built, and uh, it handles it really, really well. And the 38 Special in it, I mean, you can't even tell that it's there. So on this side, on the right-hand side of the revolver, you can see right there, it says Ruger Security 6. So moving on down to the barrel. The barrel is a two and three quarter inch barrel on this particular revolver. They came out with, I believe, three different sizes, which was two and three quarter inch, a four inch, and a six inch. You could also get the revolver in a uh, blued, is what it came out with originally, or a stainless steel version, which is this one right here. Um, moving on up to the sights, the sight in the rear is adjustable. The front sight is a nice sight. It's a ramp style sight with a nice squared off orange inlay. And you can really, really pick up on your target uh, pretty quick with it. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice sight combo for this uh, revolver. I, I, it makes shooting it a lot easier. So, the shooting of this. Um, compared to all my other double action revolvers, this one right here is the one that I shoot the worst. Um, I'm not the best shot out there. But this one right here is hard for me to shoot because that trigger pull is so heavy when you pull it back on that double action part. Um, single action, not a problem. I can shoot it pretty good. Double action though, like I said, I just don't. Um, and you know, I probably would if I just practiced with it more. I just don't shoot it a whole lot. And uh, other than that though, it's a sweet shooter. Uh, it's very well balanced, it's heavy. So like I said, you don't really feel that 357 Magnum. And the 38 Special is, is like nothing in this thing. So. Yeah, um, let's load it up with some more. I'm gonna load it up with 357 real quick. We'll shoot some more of those, and then we'll uh, we'll shoot some 38 special to it too. We'll shoot it double action only. See if we can hit anything. it up again. I missed the first two, but that's all right. Like I said, I'm not claiming to be the best shooter anyways. All right, so I got three. What's that? All right, so I got three more rounds of 357, all right? And then we'll switch over to uh, 38 Special. So we're going to shoot this last three in double action, and let's see if we can end it on a good note with 357. myself. Alright, let's switch over to 38 Special. Alright, so now we're loaded up with uh, 38 Special. We got six shots here. And uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the first three with single action and the last three with double action. See if I can keep this little streak going. So uh, here goes nothing. First three or single action. Next three are double action. Ah, no. Two. Should be all. Yep, we're out. Alright, so you know, I missed one. Let's uh let's load it up again and we'll take uh, six more shots, and then we'll end this. So much fun bringing a revolver out. I wish I shot this one a little better. I really just need to practice with it a lot more. 
I think I'd be alright. I'm just going to end it on a good note. We'll uh, finish it up with single action here. Alright, let's do this. Six for six. Sounds good to me. Alright, so I got four rounds left. Four rounds. I'm not gonna shoot any more of them. Let's see what happens here. I got four rounds. Let's see if we can end it on a good note. So two rounds will be single action, two rounds will be double action. Let's see if we can hit it. So the first one here will be single. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I mean, this firearm right here, what a sweet little shooter. Um, I'm awkwardly standing like this because I don't want you all to see my hand. Because I just can't get it to quit bleeding and now it's covered all over my hand and on my on my revolver. So yeah, it's gonna be some nice cleaning tonight. And it's really not even a big cut, it's just where my knuckles are dry. But yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Go ahead and share the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see more videos of what I do, go ahead and click on one of those two right there. And uh, as always, get out to the range, go take your family, friends, kids, go shooting, go have a wonderful day, and you know, just bring some steel. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all next time.